goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of the unpleasant world of Penn and Teller. A little later on, we will have the one and the only Mr. Alexi Sale out here. Alexi! And I will be suffering for the cause of stand-up comedy, and we will be performing the world's most expensive card trick, and Teller will be doing some great sleight of hand, including sticking a cigarette where you'd least expect it. But you know, some of the most entertaining and magical stuff we know of is science. We've got some kids here. We're going to do a little science for you, okay? You guys know about liquid nitrogen? You know anything about it? No. Well, liquid nitrogen is uh, it was what the air is made of. It's 80% nitrogen. And when you chill it down to like 300 degrees below zero, it turns into a liquid. Just like, well, it's careful, careful. It's, it's very dangerous. Uh, and uh, we're going to do a little thing for you. We have... Uh, uh, a rose here. Just, just check out that rose. Give it a little, give it a little sniff. You put it in the liquid nitrogen. That's going to chill it down very, very quickly to way below zero. And you just watch what happens to it. This is why it's so dangerous here. You pull that out, and you just have a little rose crumble there. But well, we invented some stuff ourselves. You might want to write this down, kids. You want to try it at home. You take two matches and an aspirin, a regular headache tablet, and you put it in uh, tin. You call this tin foil over here? Yeah. Tin foil. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of just, just stage makeup stuff, and we put this in with the uh, aspirin and the matches. And you want to you watch your asses on this, kid. And, uh, <laughs> and Teller's just going to put it in there and, and watches Teller. No, you want to push it down, Teller. You want to push it down a little better. Push it. It's got to, it's got to sink, Teller. It's got to sink. It's not going to do anything. Just, just, just push it. <laughs> Finger here. <laughs> something to remember this day by. We uh, we have another little experiment that we invented, and this is cheese. At least you call it cheese over here. And you see, you, have you seen cheese like that before? Do they feed you that at school or something? <laughs> now this is Teller's pet mouse. It's just a mouse uh, named Hillary, named after our president. And if Teller can get a hold of uh, get a hold of it, there, there's there's his mouse. And now watch the way he reacts to the cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. He's going right after it, right after it. Now you just watch, because even Billery, even Billery knows the difference between the, the, uh, the, the room temperature cheese and the frozen. Tell's going to put a little bit in there. You know, with, with this, it actually improves it, I believe, this, this particular brand of cheese. Now until it pulls it out, now you'll notice it'll look very different from that down there. There you go. It looks a lot different than the, uh, than the fog cheese. And you watch the way Billery reacts when she sees the cheese right here. As she just keeps her eyes... Oh, jeez! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Billery! Billery! Are you okay, Billery? Uh, it's, it's okay. The mouse is fine. It's just, it's just cryogenics like Walt Disney. It, the mouse is okay. We just, have to, we just have to wake the mouse up. See, it's fine. Now, now... There are people watching at home, kids, and you're here. I want you to find a little piece of billery. Here you go. I just want to show you that it, that it is indeed just a rubber mouse that we switched, so no animal's been hurt. And as a matter of fact, billery is safe and sound right in this kid's coat. See that? He's fine. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, jeez! No, no, no. No, it's just... Billery is just dead as a rock. <laughs> Not going to come alive. Uh, but it's okay. We, we didn't kill it. You know that. You saw it. He clearly jumped. Did you see it? Were you testifying to him? He jumped. As a matter of fact, he left a, a little suicide note. He's been very, very despondent lately. And it's too bad that Billery is dead because he's going to miss one of the best goddamn comedians in the whole world who, re who he's reduced Teller and I to helpless laughter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a man whose jokes will tickle your ribs and bite your ass. Is it ass or arse over here? Ar ass? Is it ar arse, arse. And bite your arse. Here he is, Mr. Alexi Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. 
Shut off! <laughs> you don't have to join in. You don't have to testify. It's not a prayer meeting, you know. Yes, yes, testify. Yes, yes. I had a dream, my friends. Yes, I had a dream. I dreamt of a land where everybody had turned to God. I had a dream. And then, my friends, then, my friends, my dream changed. I was standing completely naked in a car park in Kingston on Thames with my testicles covered in marmite. <laughs> I'm sorry, actually, I'm sorry, I can't really keep this anger and this aggression up anymore because recently I've become a lot more mellow, yes, I've, 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 I've become a lot more mellow because I've just had a baby, yeah. No, not a baby, no, five bottles of vodka, yeah. <laughs> but, um... As I'm actually something of a disaster area in relationships, actually. I'm, I am something of a disaster area in relationships. I always, I always seem to want the ones who don't want me. Like Archbishop Desmond Tutu. <laughs> he said we could be friends, you know. He said, oh, we can go roller skating, Alexi, you know, but we can never be lovers. <laughs> but um, I had a secret affair with my best friend's wife until she found out about it. <laughs> But, um, I, I am something. I, recently, though, um, recently I did. I had to get married. Uh, I had to get married because I got my girlfriend into trouble. I got her involved in the civil war in Angola. <laughs> it didn't last long, though. Um, the relationship didn't last long. And now I, I live alone with my pets. I've um, got various pets. I've got a cat. Um, you know, people say cats are very clean, you know, because they're always licking themselves. They're not clean. They're just covered in cat spit. <laughs> I've got, I've got a lemming, you know, um, that's another pet, you know, um, you know, most animals leave shit all over the house, this leaves suicide notes. <laughs> Alexi, don't blame yourself, man. <laughs> I come home late at night and find it trying to dial the Samaritans with his little snout, you know. <laughs> Hello, yes, this is the Samaritans, yes. <laughs> Yes, what's your problem? <laughs> oh, sod off and die, will you? <laughs> I also, um, recently I got very depressed. I started worrying about my health. I was very ill and I, actually I was uh, taken into hospital. And it's terrible now, you know, with the cuts and everything. It's really terrible in hospital now. If you go into, like, intensive care, they don't wire you... To see if you're still breathing, they don't wire you up to one of those ECG machines, one of those beep-beep machines anymore. What they do to see if you're still breathing, they stick a harmonica in your mouth. <laughs> and you're lying there going... Uh, Alexi, I'm going to ask you, uh, excuse me if I don't shake your hand, okay? Uh, tell will shake for me. Uh, Alexi, I'm going to ask you something that might be considered a little rude. Uh, what joke really didn't go as well as you'd hoped? Um, <laughs> ooh, let me count. No, I think the thing, the kind of improvised thing I did about, you know, having the baby and stuff uh -huh. didn't really seem Now, good. did you like that joke, you people? You like the joke pretty much? Yeah! yeah. 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 Now, a lot of people in the audience seem to have liked that joke, a few didn't. But uh, just the fact that a few didn't, that one woman that yelled out no when you said that, hurt you a lot, didn't it? I mean, does that hurt your feelings? Yeah, very much, See, yeah. my, my point about this is that comedians don't get laughs for a buck. <laughs> comedians are funny or they die. And you guys just don't know how easy it is to feel like you're dying when you're a comedian. I am strapped in this. It's a device called the Iron Comedian. I am unable to move. 